and he shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. There are a few things I like us to notice in this verse of scripture. The impartation that is spoken about in this scripture has territory in view. So God will be releasing something on your life is an investment, a spiritual investment. And the hope he has for depositing that kind of investment is a territory that you are going to conquer in the days to come. Second thing I'd like us to notice in this scripture is that the investment that God is depositing upon your life is spiritual in nature. It's just like when you want to do business. Capital to begin business. Is that true? But in this enterprise that God has committed unto us, which is intended by him to have global implication, what he gives us as the capital to drive this enterprise is spiritual and we will need to know how to manage a spiritual investment until it grows to a point where it has the capacity to influence the globe that's the second point third point are you still with me What is the evidence that a believer has received the Holy Spirit? Yes, please help me. What? Oh, he speaks in tongues. Unfortunately, in this scripture, the scripture did not say that when you receive the Holy Ghost, you will speak in tongues. What does the scripture say? The direct, one of the direct results of receiving this spiritual investment is what? Power. And what Jesus, are you with me? Don't worry, we, I'm just highlighting, we are going to do a study for 35 minutes. And what Jesus was trying to tell the apostles, was that you will not have the ability to extend the frontiers of the kingdom of God without power. If we lack power, it doesn't matter how many good intentions you have, you will lack the ability to extend the frontiers of the kingdom of God. I went to preach in a crusade So I took an elderly woman who is from the village that I was going to preach the gospel. She was our tour guide. She knew the terrain. And it happens to be that we arrived at the crusade ground too early. We arrived at the crusade ground two hours before the event began. So I told the woman, "Where? this is your village. She said, yes, sir. Where is the shrine here? Because we will visit the shrine today. And she led us to the shrine. Hallelujah. There is a mo in that shrine had sacrificed blood to the 22 altars of the people of that village. And he was singing a spiritual song as he was coming from the altar of sacrifice. 
That was where we met him. In my own opinion, he should be strongest at that time. And when he saw us, he suspected that there was a challenge. By divination, he was able to know that. And he asked us, Why are we passing this way? We said, No, we come in peace. Okay. He now asked the woman because he knows the woman that was leading me around. Why did you bring this man here? So the woman answered him and said, He said he wanted to see the shrine. Hey! The man wanted to threaten for that. I told him, If you raise that hand again, it will wither. So he calmed down, behaved himself. The fight took, it took 15 minutes. It was a 15 minutes battle. That kind of battle is not like this one. It's by utterance. After the battle, I led him to Christ. I was 36 years old when that battle took place and he was 100 years old. When he gave his life to before he gave his life to Christ, the wise men that used to confer with him, old men, nine of them joined us there. I led all of them to Christ. At the end of the and then we cursed the altar. The crusade had not started yet. We now left the mountain top to go for the crusade in the evening. During praise and worship, without a preacher, crippled people began to rise up. The people that were locked in the covens, they, they stood up without prayer. At least three crippled people. One guy just, he was crippled. And then suddenly, I don't know what came on him. He just stood up like that. And he himself was confused. And he was there for a long time before he decided to try his legs. He began to walk. You know what? We had shot the mast. We shot it down. Because it's that mast that powers every witchcraft coven in the community. And when the witches saw that the people they put in bondage were walking without prayer. They ran away from the crusade ground. So we had to stop preaching and we followed them. Without power, we are going to be totally handicapped in extending the frontiers of the kingdom. Before you go to Europe, you want to conquer Europe. There's darkness in your compound in the village. You can start from there. The recommendation is that we should begin where? Jerusalem. So that's the third point. We cannot do this business without power. Now, let us begin our Bible study. When you give your life to Christ and you get baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, there are a few things I would like to unveil to you. How many of you know crude oil? Crude oil is a complex mixture of hydrocarbons. In its crude state, it's not so beneficial. But when you subject it to refinement, a lot of fractions that are beneficial to us will, will come out of it. So everything that God wants to do in your life and everything he wants to do, what he did is that he, he put it in the Holy Ghost. And then he gave you the Holy Ghost. But it's complex. It's a very complex investment. And you need to take that investment through the refinery for his fine products to crystallize. And the refinery is your ability to speak in tongues. When you begin to speak in tongues, 
Hallelujah. And for your information, if you are up to 21 years old and you never spoke in tongues straight for six hours, your life is a joke. It's a joke. As much as I respect the academic world, once upon a time I was on campus too. But I always say that among scholars, there are few scholars that attain the height my dad attained in the scholastic adventure. And I saw the way he died. strange manipulation from the kingdom of darkness he had degrees in Nigeria and outside Nigeria but in the day of reckoning when the kingdom of darkness came against him his his did not have authority against Satan I made up my own mind not you but me and I said, I will never be in class after my first degree anymore. I'm going to look for God. My master's degree will be that I found God. My doctorate degree will be that I, I, I own the ways of God. As much as I respect your mental capacity I came to tell you tonight that your mental capacity is nothing in the face of a situation that is orchestrated from the realm of the spirit spiritual problems require spiritual solutions and spiritual battles require spiritual ammunition I saw him die helplessly because I was in the hospital watching over him while he was sick he was a good man he was a priest of our family he would call us in the night and cry our father but it's obvious that his prayers were important because the evil day he was seeking to avert when the day came he was powerless against that day and I knew that even though he loved God he did not know him deeply and I felt my destiny was to go beyond my father's knowledge in the realm of God obviously because of the privileges he had and the number of degrees he accumulated I knew that if I wanted to best him in terms of degrees I would need two lifetimes to do that but there was a deficiency in his life that resulted in his life being cut short and I said well it's obvious that my own destiny is to make up for that deficiency unknown to me there was a web of satanic installations in my family my family is is supposedly an enlightened family so you will not expect people to be fetish these guys are doctors all kinds of stuff oh when i began to press deeper i found out hey, hallelujah my discoveries were heart heart shaking and so I decided to engage the refinery. The crude oil was already available. But I had to subject it to refinery treatment. If you want to go far with God, you must learn how to pray for long, long prayers. Long, I mean long. Where is 
my friend, the president. Okay. Do you people pray here? Where is the previous president that, that gave me the mic now? Okay, they have escaped. Friends, you need to do what? Pray for long. I made up my mind to pray the way I've never prayed, to fast the way I've never fasted, and to give to the work of God the way I've never done. So that the refinery can begin to work upon that crude oil which is the investment of the Holy Spirit in our lives when you begin to pray for long one of the things you discover is that the prophetic will open God the communication link will be opened up just in case you have not yet understood in New Testament theology the potential that we have is based on access our possibilities in the New Testament provision is tied to our access to God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and wherever the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty the same word translated liberty is the same word translated access in Greek language wherever the spirit of God is there is what access so now that God has factored us into a spiritually provided investment the nature of the investment that we have received from him makes us to have access to God whatever you become tomorrow is tied to your ability to take advantage of the potential that is in access and you need to explore and exploit this potential until you gain mastery in the things of God and if you want to exploit it and exploit you will need to learn how to engage your refinery for long hours the Bible says it's, a, it's good that a man bear his burden while he is young there are several things that if you don't gain mastery on as a young man you will never gain mastery when you are old so there's a prescription of life for the young and there's prescription of life for the old but for young people like you and me we must press into God until he makes himself known so the covenant we're operating is a covenant of access because the spirit is involved and if it's true that you have access to God you should be able to know God you should be able to receive from God you should be able to understand things from the perspective of God I came to charge you tonight that prayer is the heaviest molecule in the Christian life and when your prayer begins to die every other aspect of your Christian life dies you can't walk in holiness if you are not a man of prayer because holiness is the nature of God and as you begin to plead with God for help flows out of himself into your vessel and strengthens you with might by his spirit in the inner man you cannot walk in wisdom without the Holy Ghost because the Bible says it's not given unto man to direct his steps as wonderful as your education is it will only provide a platform for you and how you function on that platform from day to day 
is up to you and the wisdom of God. What makes a man great is not just the opportunities he has, but how he uses them. And no man can operate maximally outside of the wisdom of God. And unfortunately for us, God will never give you anything that you don't need Him to operate. So early in life, I decided to make my choices. And one of them was to seek God until I know Him. I had to read a lot of books. People that found God, how did they find Him? What did they do? And I saw that it was not a secret. They fasted often. They prayed much. And they judged everything from the perspective of the scriptures. Until they became wise in the Holy Ghost. And their steps were ordered of God. And they were able to maximize the grace of God on their lives. And the tributaries of grace began to flow from their vessel affecting their community affecting the environment that they found themselves i realized that these men were selfless men such is every man that knows god in truth because in yourself you will attain to your least potential but in god you attain to your greatest potential so every man that serves god in truth knows that the reason for life is not self the reason for life is god if you want to check the measure of a man just check the content of his prayer these days our prayers are full of self and empty of god but when you check the prayer of jesus in the book of john chapter 17 it was empty of empty of self it was full of god Ours is empty of God, full of self. His was empty of self and full of God. I decided to apply myself to work with God. And I saw great opposition, great temptations, many distractions all littered across the pathway of the pilgrim and i found out that the thing that every young man every young woman needs to do is to find how to bend your knee and put the refinery to work please help me tell your neighbor if you have not prayed continuously consciously deliberately for 10 years in your life you do not know the power of prayer help me preach to your neighbor help me pray. i'm telling you from experience I'm 25 years old as an intercessor. So I know the experience I had in the first 10 years of intercession. These days, if I pray now, the prayers are answered quickly. But when I started intercession, I'll pray for years. And it's as if I'm not seeing the result. Prayer is not a magic one. Prayer is a lifestyle. A time came when I began to pray. I was no longer praying for results. I was praying God's prayer. Initially, when I started praying, I was praying my own prayers and my prayer points that were so lengthy. I prayed those prayer points for a long time. As I started growing in the things of God, I saw that the need that God had was bigger than my need. So I decided to factor myself into God's need program. And I started asking God to do what he wants to do. And if it pleases him, 
let him put me in the equation of what he wants to do hallelujah and I began to pray I got prayers so most of my prayers were intercession they were little petition prayers now 90% of my prayer are intercession I hardly pray for, in fact I forget to pray for myself don't copy me if you don't if you have not worked with God long enough to experience the switch when I started praying God's prayers I started seeing answer to prayers a believer will never know that God is real until God you can speak to him now and he will do it now and you need to set the pedestal because your entire destiny will stand on the investments that you have made spiritually just like you came here to get a degree you must also get another degree there must be a piece of real estate on this campus where the grass will testify that for four years you came here in search of mastery something in the spirit I can take you to my prayer room when I was on campus it was 5 a.m. in the morning the Holy Spirit that you call Holy Ghost Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost eh? I saw him he appeared to me he appeared to me 5 a.m. in the morning what I tell you is not what somebody told me it's what I've seen my life changed yes the Holy Ghost it came like a wind I can't explain it a mighty move of God was taking place on our campus that time and when he visited me in that prayer room he said the revival was going to cease it will end because we don't have the capacity to maintain it however he promised me that in my lifetime he will come back so that's why he came to visit me in that my prayer room I have seen great things on my knees and so if you are going to benefit from a spiritual investment you will have to pray often and fast much what did I say? Turn your Bible to Acts chapter 6. Now let us use Stephen as a case study. Acts chapter 6. Um, all right. No, 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 no. Acts chapter 6 verse 1 so that we can follow the story and in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve table wherefore brethren look ye out among you seven men of honest report full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom whom we may appoint over this business verse 5 and the same please the whole multitude and they chose Stephen what's this the, the CV of Stephen Huh? a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost so, okay we'll use Stephen as a case study so Stephen's CV was faith plus Holy Ghost exactly do you accept that alright verse 7 and the word of God increased and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Verse 8 is my emphasis. Do you still remember his CV? Faith plus what? 
verse 8 and Stephen full of faith and now you see the Holy Ghost has transformed into what power and just like I said without power we lack the ability to extend the frontiers of the kingdom you see remember the the case of Jesus he got baptized in water and baptized in the Holy Ghost at the same time and when he came out of the water the Bible says that the heavens were opened and the Spirit of God descended in bodily shape like a dove after that great great accreditation that took place the Bible says thereafter that the Holy Spirit drove him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil now he was not going into the wilderness to fast he was going there to be tempted of the devil he was the one that decided to fast and in those days he ate what nothing and you know what happened the temptation and all of that in the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 14 the Bible now said Jesus came from the wilderness in the power of the Holy Ghost you see he was baptized in the Holy Spirit then he went to the wilderness and when he came from the wilderness he came with power and the Bible says that the fame of him spread abroad without power we cannot manage this business of extending the kingdom to the ends of the earth so many years have been wasted sampling other possibilities to see if those, these possibilities can take the place of power and we have just come to the sorry discovery of the fact that the first apostles of the first generation they got it right the first time it was we that derailed to think that there is a wisdom key there is a wisdom key to approaching the matter the prescription in scripture is what is what oh i see you have also been beguiled that's why you can't understand the simplicity of the gospel according to scripture it is power that is the tool that we need to extend god's business upon the face of the earth and that's the birthright of every believer that's in christ jesus however this power will come on your life when you take responsibility are you with me to allow the investment you have received to go through the refinery of prayer and the refinery of prayer will be refining that deposit until it begins to yield several tributaries of the grace of God from your life are you still with me wisdom can come meanwhile this power is of numerous assortments it's not just the ability to walk miracles and to do science no that's one of the tributaries there are many tributaries that will result which is many 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 tributaries not just signs and wonders have you read your scripture the bible says and thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth there is an ability there's a power that god can give you which will make you get wealth it's also another tribute but without this power we are incapacitated as far as extending the frontiers of the kingdom is concerned did you get it to that point? So, my question tonight is what is power? Yes, who can help me? What is power? I'm speaking to believers, so I know I'm in the right place. What is power? I would like us to know what Jesus meant when he spoke acts chapter 1 verse 8 to his apostles what is power okay let's start from physics in physics what is power ability to do what all right let us assume that power is an ability 
are we on the same page now power is what an ability okay this power that jesus is speaking about here is not a power that gives you an ability that you already have this power comes to give you an ability that you don't have naturally i don't have time to take you to the book of acts chapter 17 to show you what paul did when he visited a territory that was totally hidden full of altars shrines and he wanted to communicate the gospel to them he even went and identified an altar that was dedicated to an unknown god and he that was where he started his discussion from and if you check the wisdom and the oratory the skill with which he was able to use those items to present the gospel to a people that do not know the scriptures so they don't understand the authority of the scriptures he used their own culture to communicate god to them when you see the skill with which he, he did it you will know it was not natural ability to talk it was utterance that utterance too is power because he did not have it naturally it's the holy spirit that brought it upon his life but without power we cannot do kingdom business profitably in such a way that the entire globe will be captivated by what god is releasing into the earth power the bible says my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of the unicorn i shall be anointed with fresh oil and the horn is symbolic of authority there is a spiritual investment that is supposed to result in a manifestation of spiritual authority in one aspect of your life this is my own personal experience when i began to tarry in the place of prayer again and again i noticed that whereas my friends that were prophets if we pray for 15 minutes 25 minutes one hour they already prophesied but what came to me when we pray is not prophecy when we pray for 15 minutes 25 minutes one hour two hours what comes to me is revelation the scriptures will just open see i don't have that ability naturally but that ability i noticed it as i began to press into god are you here the scriptures some scriptures will be coming to me and those scriptures that come to me they carry the solution to the problems i'm asking god about i noticed that working in my life the prophets will be prophesying me i'll be receiving scripture when i began to press further began to press further i noticed that my tongue that was tied i was a stammerer i was next to dumb i noticed that when i began to press further god gave me utterance i don't speak naturally i speak supernaturally because naturally i am dumb and when i finish talking if it has improved now that is natural if not when i finish preaching and I want to talk to you, I will still be dumb those days. But I, I, I saw the power of God go beyond my weakness in communication. Utterance can be a form of power. There are several people that don't need manifestations. Some big people. But they are confused. And God can put a word in your mouth. And as you are delivering it, they break is utterance is is a tributary of power but without power we cannot do profitable kingdom business that's what jesus said hallelujah i remember in our prayer group those days an anointing came upon one brother kelechi i don't even know where he is now whatever he touches turns to gold if he says 
okay as we are praying praying some prophets are prophesying Kelechi is business ideas that comes to him Aye. and when he goes to implement the things he received money will just be giving birth to money meanwhile this guy his work with god is deep so he knows that god is not giving him the money because of himself he can give 90 percent to god and be using 10 percent and that 10 percent he was large it was power that was at work so power has different shades and colors it has different tributaries and in partnership those things those dividends are you here the ones that the people that is the finances they have the ability to create finances they know is to push the people in the forefront i hope you know doing a crusade is costly i hope you also know that since the patriarchs like evangelist Omar Bai, they are becoming old now crusades are no longer common in nigeria it's church now but the unbelievers are still there how many of you got born again your born again experience was on a crusade ground please all right we see people that got born again here we need to continue doing crusades for other people too to get born again but it's very costly to hold a crusade we do annual crusades in Benue State and I can tell you it is not less than five million per edition every edition we spend five million and above is that what you can do all the time except one of us has power on him that makes him generate generate wealth supernaturally tonight I came to tell you that you shall receive power we need all all the tributaries of power so that we can partner together and bring the kingdom of darkness down the least among us must be as strong as David the power of God in all of his forms must be made manifest then we will have what it takes to reclaim the ground that has been considered to the enemy and just like I said the secret of Stephen in translating the Holy Ghost investment into a power reality are you here because in his life the Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost a few verses later the Bible now says he was full of power in order for you to make the transition from that initial investment into the power lane where you see supernatural abilities in your life that you don't you don't have naturally you begin to see those abilities find expression see those abilities that you have received has a connection to the expansion of the kingdom of god and each and every one of us that is a unique expression that god has ordained that if you can press a little more and you enter into the power lane there will be a unique expression of the power of god that will manifest through your life and the purpose for that manifestation is to extend the frontiers of the kingdom we have we have been running away from the devil for too long some of you can't even go to your village because there's something at work there that may contaminate you so you have stayed in Oka even though you are not from Oka you are from the depth of Ebony State the dark place hallelujah no 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 it's time to change the tide and the trend but the way Jesus said we'll do it is by what? by power 
So in the eyes of the law, what makes us competent, what makes us able to do kingdom business is that we are pressed in him sufficiently to see the unique tributary of the grace of God that imparts that unique ability that is required to make the difference. From God's perspective, he expects us to do the supernaturally naturally and to do the natural supernaturally. I know you need to read for some exams. You need to write a test. It is possible for you to do academics supernaturally. I have the gift of word of knowledge and it started from campus days. I could tell where the questions will come from. And, and this is not a joke because I can go to other departments they will show me their notebooks and I can we did strange things while we were on campus very strange things on campus I had the ability to raise the dead on campus yes during the revival I don't know what has happened to me now but those days <laughs> I had the ability to raise the dead if somebody goes out they bring the person to my room I've seen quite a few rise. I don't know what God has for me, but I believe that my best cannot be yesterday. We saw all kinds of things take place. We saw nature suspended. Sometimes we don't even need to preach to people. We just come here, form a ring and begin to pray. And then you will see someone, a drunkard from that place, will migrate here and give his life to Christ. Another one will migrate. Oh, we saw all kinds of crazy stuff. But when you look at it, why did those things happen? There was a power. It was not normal. And the Lord is saying that every one of us was ordained to be a carrier of power. The day where preachers were stars, those days have ended. These are the days of the saints. And everyone in his own capacity is a star in his own right. For the great God dwells in them. And what the preacher can do, you have grace to do if that's your calling. Do you understand now? The apostolic messenger is sent to make the believer understand the potential God that is lying dormant on his inside his life is supposed to be an example of what God can do if we go on our knees to seek his face friends it is time for every one of us to arise because God needs a full army as we go to take down the kingdom of darkness in a moment of time we are going to pray. Oh my God, I see, I see, I see. You see, you see, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, Sula Cabo. Sula Sela Lambres, Cofalamina Ciclebre. Covese ne compris Cavate Mucabala. Lai soma ambre katali sikoma raise kamatwa baleta bale sekle presko vanila afele kusa kusa zeli kusa zai to kambale komboski presko patakona avrena iso sanali avrena skabelanteli avrena skubala haya ikompeska fraske to kabala. Roman Zesi, Presco Velato Combaia, Evaski Tombre, Kuvai Sala Comba, Isaila Capraskevana, Ilabo Seke, Kilanso Sala. Oh, 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 oh,
Tomene Cambrelli. Ha 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 a nation but tonight we want to rise an army of power no force can defeat an army of power and Jesus said ye shall receive power yeah, la 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 no me yana is a man the camera to sani Amera si e kamoro se na ira Oh Seni na la presco fani e e kamale male o Ya e e kana sane ma we are not powerless. We serve the God of power. He is full of glory and majesty. And his tongues and daughters cannot be weaklings. He said, Ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And he shall be witnesses unto me. The powers of Jerusalem shall fall. The powers of Judea will submit. The powers of Samaria will surrender. We were called a nation of power, a nation of signs and wonders. For the prophet said, I and the children given unto me, we are for signs. We are for wonders. Ale Sake Mokaba Sake Mokelebonda Sake Mokoselaman Sake Mosantomina Ilabroske Vasalebo Aye Sulamante Oboroski Vosila Matali Amen Abroska Vama Oh, Marasatema, it's your night of empowerment. You can make a demand on heaven right now. You can ask the Lord to give you empowerment. That he might strengthen you with might. By his spirit in the inner man. That he might take you beyond your capacity in the flesh and give you strength by his spirit Alamo something mighty comes upon an Amrastin tonight We will take over the land by power, by a manifestation of the grace of God. We will take over the territory by power. Come out of your caves, come out of your hiding place, for the Lord wants to give you a scepter. You will rule by his side.
Sin will be thrust out. Limitations will be removed by your hand. God will do a new thing. He will do a new thing in your life. Come and suce celebria. Me proscabe na la ike santa ma. Receive power. You shall receive power. You shall receive power. Amera to say, Ila mama 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 mama. Oria fasika brande bakura ma, ma isose la masika, ela mama rata ila somena. Sekola ma presto va ikos kamandale, la hose zepe malika branta babore. Aya mama na si sasala po. I am a selling worker. I am an accord of Sasananda Presavola. As a soul of Kabala Masulama. Oh, God will give you glory. will come out of Zion. Deliverers will come from Zion. That is the destiny of Zion. Zion manufactures deliverers and savior. And the Lord said, ye shall receive power. Samalaito Kabalata Apa Soso Sekenala Aiko Samantele Prekete Something is coming to your campus Something is coming to your campus You prayed for it for many years. And tonight, something is coming. Tonight, something is coming. Something is coming tonight. You tarried for it. You prayed for it. is coming.
Jesus mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ if you can you might respond with an amen I say in Jesus mighty name one more time in Jesus mighty name listen tonight such as I have I will give you when you are here when you are there 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 what I have from the Lord hallelujah 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 now can we be quiet can we be quiet can we be quiet is it possible all I ask from you is to raise your right hand now can we be quiet just raise your right hand that's all hallelujah hallelujah just your right hand as I pray I'll pray for you 
and the Lord will descend on this field father a generation stands before you tonight asking for your enablement asking for your help asking for empowerment asking for grace young men young women reaching out to heaven Lord I ask tonight from my left hand side to the back of the crowd to my right hand side to the choir the ministers and the senior friends I ask so God that you stretch forth your hand stretch forth your hand and release the anointing release the anointing release the anointing Release the anointing. Release the anointing. Release the anointing. Release the anointing. Release the oh my god, it's coming. Release the anointing. 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 Holy Ghost. Move. Yes, it's coming stronger. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Move. Yes, I see. I see the grace. The grace. The grace. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's a special anointing. It's coming upon a sister. It's coming upon a sister. It's coming so. It's coming so. It's Hallelujah. Listen to me. Those of you here, those of you from here, this way to the back, all of you this way. You see me? You can see my hand. All right. Please follow my instructions. Oh my God. Can you follow my instructions? let's start one by one if you are female if you are female and you are here just take your hand put it on your stomach this one is general i will come back to this side this one is general if you are female on this field put your hand on your stomach there are 21 intercessors they are called priestesses the fire of god will come on those sisters 21 of them father show me the priestesses show me 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 now Priestesses of the altar, women with grace to tarry, to tarry until redemption comes. Receive the grace.
There are 21 of them. There are 21 of them. 21 of them. 21 of them. The burning, it will come with a burning. A burning and a fire. A burning and a fire. 21 of them. The spirit of supplication and intercession will come upon your life. It's burning, it's burning, it's burning. It burns with rage, it burns with power. It burns. All right, I'm back here again. There is an anointing that makes you see into the realm of the spirit. It's the anointing of the seer. Five of you will receive it from here. Can you raise your right hand up? Five of you. Father, release the anointing of the seer on five of my brothers and sisters. Release it on five of them. It's coming now. It's coming. It's coming, 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 it's coming. If you ever desire to walk miracles, and you are on this road. You ever desire to walk miracles? To see cripples walk? To see the deaf hear? To see the blind see? And you're here? Just raise your right hand. You don't need to pray anymore. Just stop praying. Just raise your right hand. Father, the miracle anointing to do signs, to do wonders. Let it come on four of them. 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 Four. Of them. It's coming stronger. 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 Holy Ghost is oh my God. Oh my God. Some of you will not feel anything. But when you leave this place and put your hands on the sick, they will jump up. Oh my God. Now, so the Holy Ghost has overwhelmed someone. I can sense it. The person is oh my God, it's overwhelmed. It's overwhelmed. It's overwhelmed. Yes, 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 yes. seeing the Lord there are five of you he will release an anointing upon you a revelational gift it will begin to function in your life when men hide things you will see it five of you is coming now it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh my god, it's coming stronger, it's coming stronger, it's coming stronger, it's coming stronger. Two prayer points. 
points for the night before I begin to for the sick raise your voice begin to pray for your family and ask God to intervene ask him to break any yoke in that family ask him for an intervention right now Let every yoke be broken. Let every yoke be broken. Ask him to step in. Let him step in. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Secondly, can you ask God to touch your academics? Let it shine brighter. Let it shine brighter. That the Lord will give you help in your academic pursuit let his involvement with you make it easier easier for you thank you lord in jesus name now you have the right to be healed of any sickness any disease now because we are going to pray for the sick now hallelujah i say hallelujah i say hallelujah Now, this is how we are going to do it. If I say in Jesus' name, you shout the loudest amen that you can muster. Now, let's try. In Jesus' mighty name. When you shout like that, it it make it gives me the Lord will is likely to show me a vision. Listen, there are two ladies in our midst. You were dedicated to an altar. Two ladies. You were dedicated to an altar of marine spirits and you are in the congregation the lord has sent me to break the yoke from your line father those two ladies in the congregation dedicated to a marine altar i ask that your hand will come upon them let your hand come upon them let your hand come upon them let your hand come upon them 
let your hand come upon them all right ushers the two ladies are already under the power now okay they are more than two they are more than two bring them here i want to i hate marine spirits with passion so bring bring those ones here like this now i don't know we don't have ushers wait choir come all of you choir choir all of you come come because this business tonight it will be difficult if we don't have people come choir come Bring them up here. Bring them up. Bring them up. Now listen. Listen. You are going to join the ushers, but I'm going to release some power on you so that you can do what for for this night. You'll be able to do what I can do. Huh? And I ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, let this yoke of the marine altar let it break 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 in the name of jesus now listen 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 now if i pray for you you will become me you will be able only for this night oh. what i can do you will be able to do it for this night all right so are you ready if you are not a choir member go back go back only choir members if you are not a choir member go back if you are not a choir member go back father stop pain just follow my instruction oh my god father touch them 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 so that they can carry this power they can carry it touch them touch them stronger touch them stronger touch them stronger let the grace come on them stronger let it come stronger let it come like a burning like a fire like a flame touch them let it come stronger let it come stronger let it come stronger let it come stronger let the anointing begin to operate on their lives on their lives on their lives on their lives let it come stronger let it come stronger on them let it come stronger 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 Yes, I command every link to the marine wall. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Yeah, broken. 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 Yes. all right all right choir go into the congregation because give some instructions go enter all of you enter in the name of jesus ah you refuse to shout very well this time the reason why i'm asking you to shout when you do so God will give me a vision. Then from that vision, I'll begin to minister. Let's try it again. In the name of Jesus. Listen. There are two of you here. Somebody took one of your garments to a ritualist 
Un deuxième mot. The Lord has sent me to deliver you. Father, if those two people are in this congregation, let your anointing come upon them so that I can know them. Let it come stronger so that I can know them. Okay, it's coming now, it's coming. It's coming. Show me. Father, show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Now bring that one up, that's one. Show me the second one. Oh, just help me retrieve the second one. I don't need you here. I don't need you here. There are some people in the congregation and I see a circle of delay in your family, especially in marriage. Today, in the name of Jesus, I command that yoke to break, 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 break. Bring her, bring her, bring her. Bring her. Bring her, bring her. Where, where are those my? Yes, take her to the back where we'll have space. Take her there. In the name of Jesus. Not for so long, but you cannot comprehend. Night, I break that spell from your life. In Jesus, the yokes are breaking. The yokes are breaking. Yes. <clears throat> okay. 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 Leave her. Leave her. She's coming out now. She's coming out. She's coming out. She's coming out now. Yes. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break the yoke. We break the yoke. We break the yoke. Lose her. Listen, listen, listen. If you brought anybody sick, or you are sick from. Uh, maybe you have your genotype is SS you want AA this is a night for that if there are sick people at home call them call them call them now call them now the anointing is on full bar full bar tonight call them put your hand where the sickness is where the pain is if you are deaf put your hand in the deaf ear this finger if someone is crippled lay hands on the legs Ahaha. in the name of Jesus Christ I bind every sickness I bind every pain, I bind every paralysis, deafness I bind you, blindness I bind you, short-sightedness, long-sightedness, cataract, astigmatism, 
every concern with the eyes blinding spirit i bind you tonight in the name of jesus christ oh every long condition asthma hear my voice asthma hear my voice asthma be bound be bound and come out of them in the name of jesus all movements on the body i arrest that movement i arrest that movement and i break all of that movement in the name of jesus christ i release you in jesus mighty name pains on the back migraines pains on the legs i break the yoke i break the yoke I break the yoke. I break the yoke in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. There is a lady in the congregation. If you sleep in the night and something wakes you up it will be almost impossible for you to sleep back again today the lord is rolling away that affliction he's rolling it away in the name of jesus christ he's rolling it away in the name of jesus christ Hi -ya -ya. be healed in jesus name Jesus name those of you with eye conditions you wear glasses remove the glasses remove it lay your hand on your eyes now now follow, follow my instruction now lay hands on the eyes now I ask Lord that those the eyes be corrected let the sight be corrected be corrected be corrected be corrected be corrected now oh my god some people are already getting healed healing has started healing has started healing has started healing has started let the yoke be broken oh my god oh my god Cabela Kula Masantaya Mandelo Seke Maita Rise and be healed Rise and be healed Rise and be healed Thank you Jesus Those on the phone you can contact them now Check your body now Check your body Check your body now Check your body now. Check it now. Check your body now. Check it now. Check now. Check now. Check now. If you notice you are healed, just wave. Just wave. If you notice you are healed, just wave like. Check now. Check now. Because the yoke is broken. I see someone. You place the call for somebody to be healed and i can see in the spirit that god has arrested that condition you can call you can call to confirm something is rising out of oka there are men that are rising men that will change the trend and the tide change the trend men 
hand that will change the trend. Glory to God. 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 Leave her, leave her, leave her. Hey, hey, I'm seeing yokes are breaking. I curse the altars that bring bondages in an state. I curse them in the name of Jesus. Let the yokes that you have carried, let it be lifted from your life. Let it be lifted from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. of you in the congregation have wonder and you have asked you say God can't you give me what you gave this young man let the same grace come upon your life let witches be grounded by reason of your appearance In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay, now I have 15 more minutes. Those of you that are healed or you have confirmed the healing through the phone, you can form a straight line here. Straight line. The rest can sit down. The rest can sit down. Oh my God! They are they are on admission until I discharge them. There's a lady in the country your name is Magdalene that's what I hear Magdalene if your name is Magdalene you can come I have a message for you Magdalene I have a message for you so you can Confirm the healing. So I'm there hearing, is a great miracle I'm, I'm, I'm hearing Magdalene. Magdalene. Please. If your name is Magdalene, I want to see you. Where are you? Are you? Magdalene. Come. You see, God wants to use you. Do you want him to use you? Are you sure? No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, if I come and interview her, let me show that she wants to follow God very well. What I, what I have been instructed to give her, go there, go there. Go, there. go for counseling first. Yes, what happened there? Pastor. So the mother when you were praying for her the mother had an accident she had injuries and she called her over the phone and then the credit 
was over but she called after the prayers and the mother said the pains in the leg and everything has gone the mother is sound over the phone somebody shout hallelujah called her mom over the phone even though the credit demons ensure that that's when the credit will finish satan is a terrible but yet even though there was no phone connection the anointing still brought about the healing my god give him glory give him praise so this lady has severe chest pain severe in, chest pain yes and then in fact she has cough but as the prayers were going on the power of god came on her and the chest pain they cough everything left and she's sound now celebrate him again the pains the condition gone by the power of god back pain she has in fact she said she didn't know she can stand but the power of god came and the the back pain and everything he left she's sound we we checked her she can bend she couldn't bend before oh, she can bend now she can bend now can you celebrate jesus see and the hand of god is still strong on her yes that it will have a miracle here a miracle yes this this lady called the mother on the phone the mother has arthritis for a very long time now. called the mother on phone she has arthritis for a long time she's a medical personnel and she has gone for all forms medical of treatment personnel, so it's not it is it's very difficult for a doctor to be healed and right now the mother is here the mother healed now over the phone now I, I need to say you see this you are slowing me down is it that you can't play my song oh my god Okay, let's go now. Your name is Mary. The night times are times of affliction for you. Demons come and press you, all kinds of experiences you have in the night. Mary, I am sent to help you. If that Mary is in the congregation here, you come out. Mary. Yes, go on, Pastor. Mary, I'm looking for you. Mary. And that's your condition. Your name is Mary. Wait, I'm looking for Mary first. I, Mary. Sir, Come. There is a Mary here. Okay. Let me attend to this Mary. Oh! Down this side. So what is your experience? Are you Mary? Yes. <clears throat> yes. So what's your experience? Can you hear my Mary? No. Okay. <laughs> anytime you sleep. Okay, Mary says anytime she sleeps. It feels like if she wants to wake up, she just can't wake up. Okay, don't worry. You are the Mary I'm looking for. Father, in the name of Jesus, today 
I present Mary and I ask that the yoke be broken. Let her spirit be released. That bondage that binds her spirit, let the bondage be released. In the name of Jesus, I call Mary forth from where she was born. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, I break the chains. I break the chains. I break the chains. Yeah. So she a miracle, yeah. She has severe waist pain. Severe In fact, she pain. has gone to hospitals before and nothing happened. The pain was here. And then when the prayers were going on, the power of God came out. She was sound. In fact, she is crying. She is crying. That's how much God has touched she, her. <laughs> you, you, you don't know when someone goes to the hospital, the doctor study for six years. If they don't have solution. She's crying now. She's crying. <laughs> Give me my song. Yeah. 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 Na na na. Yeah. Na na na. Oh. Yeah. 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 my god my god no they are all in the on admission jesus is still working on they're on admission now all of them so there is a digital healing here digital healing i've never heard of that before the, digital the mom the mom has had an injury since 2015 the mom had an injury since 2015 as the prayers were going on she put the phone on loudspeaker and the power of God hit her mom. The mom called back and said that she is perfectly sound. The sour. power of God hit her mom. Left. Where's your mom? Where's she now? Huh? Lagos. In Lagos. The power of God left Oka. Went to Lagos. Hit her mom. Delivered her mother. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you say you want to use this lady, and I have so God that your strong hand will release. Let her future be secure. Let her choices be influenced by your spirit. Let her life all together be yours. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Here popped. Where's your mom? Taraba, Taraba State. Taraba. All, all the way. If you want to go to Taraba, you will, you will be you will arrive tomorrow morning if you start from here. But the Holy Ghost. Oh my God! And she too, she had an issue on her. In fact, they referred her to hospital. She had an issue, and the the, the pain has left. She's okay. And now. the affliction had been taken care of. Celebrate Jesus! It is permanent. It is permanent in Jesus' name. So she, she has an issue. Okay. She had an operation, but the pain, the, there is a pain on the leg. But she as, had an operation? Yes, yes. But as the prayers were going on, the pain left. The pain left. There was a pain on the leg. Yes, yes. Now the pain left. Yes. Wow. What pain was in what could you not do before? I'll take drugs to help stop the pain. You take drugs to help stop the pain? Yes. 
but tonight the pain left without drugs celebrate Jesus Christ it is permanent it is permanent in Jesus name so God healed her of headache as we are speaking the headache the migraine left and she's free the migraine has left it is permanent in the name of Jesus she has she has an issue in fact she was sick he said the friends the friends carried you you were conscious yesterday right she was even vomiting and stooling yesterday but the, yes but the power of god came on her today and she's free totally free. the power of god came upon her today come here come here father perfect it perfect it perfect it perfect it in the name of jesus perfect it oh my god perfect it in the name of jesus she has been using glasses for four years and she where, has been where? struggling to see you without that glasses where? but when the power of god came she doesn't need the glasses now she has been using glasses she doesn't for four need years. glasses now yes oh my god come yes the yoke is breaking i lose you yeah come using glasses for four years she doesn't need glasses anymore it is permanent in jesus name yes so when you prayed she has an an asthmatic condition but Asthma. when you prayed she felt the demon of us the demon now, i went to unicar and i was telling a friend of mine who is a professor of medicine that asthma is a spirit he said no it's not a spirit until we went for sex i brought an asthma patient and committed the demon to come out and ask my left come you are free forever in jesus name sir god healed her of migraine in fact it came with fever she managed to come here but the power of god has set her free you are set free in jesus name We'll take five more because um, I don't want uh, the just here president to be angry with me. Yes, now you are healed. You can go. So God, the power of God came on him, and his sight has been corrected. He has his, issues with sight, color, his sight has been color corrected. blindness, and the thing has been cor corrected by the power of. For God. how long have you been in this condition? I was actually like that from the time I was giving birth to. From birth is a defect that was from. Uh, how old are you? I'm 21. 21 years. So it's 21 years old eye defect. God busted by Jesus right now. It is permanent in Jesus' name. So there is a miracle here, a miracle. digital miracle. Digital the miracle. The mother has kidney stones. And mother she, has kidney stones and she connected over the phone connected over the as phone. the prayers were going on the power of god came on the mother and the kidney stones came power on. came on the mother kidney stones vanished it's a digital miracle okay you you are free you are discharged she too she has pain in her stomach pain in her stomach yes and the power of god hit her and she's free he hit her too yes hit her mom hit her yes liberated everybody it is permanent in jesus mighty name yes five then we clean up the world the world ah our world is not yet cleaned up sad multiple miracle multiple multiple, the, the, the sister, multiple signs and wonders the sister has issues one is that she had some issues in her body and then she had toothache which one again and asthma the power of god came over the phone and over she's the free phone now. She's and free uh, now. multiple healings multiple deliverances she's healed of 
body pains even she okay she herself healed her body pains yes celebrate jesus now okay we can't take all the testimonies we can't let us hallelujah okay one more she for three years she has issues with light and astigmatism but the power of god came on her and she can see the light now she can see the light come sir there is a case of myopia here god has healed myopia here my issues have been healed by the power of god oh my god it is permanent it is permanent you don't need glasses anymore go and rejoice celebrate in the lord jesus it's another digital miracle the mother the power of god hit her mother over the phone both yes. diabetes and ulcer went away by the power of god in one stroke come see yeah when you see them crying like this you know it can't be explained it is permanent your mother's health is permanent in jesus name the mother had leg pain for years over leg. the phone the power of god touched her mother and she called back and said that she is free leg pain for years where's your mom lagos healed she now we can't take no we can all of you just raise your hand let me bless you. father oh my god choose one of them here and let the person take this anointing on my hands in the name of jesus they come to celebrate your healing and i ask that you anoint one of them anoint one of them anoint one of them anoint one of them in the name of jesus let the anointing come strong 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 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now i have to clean up the wall the wall is congested hey, two of you bring this one
Anything but one. One thing. Don't be distracted. Use this moment. Ask him. of the Lord might arise. I see someone, your right hand is burning. It's burning with fire. It's an impartation of the healing anointing. It's an impartation of the grace of Yeah. It's burning. It's burning. It's burning. The Lord answers. He answers. He answers. Uh, Presido, where are your ESCO members? Your your team people okay where are my nurses that are helping me you can discharge 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 you can do mass discharge now mass discharge special grace for two of you special grace will come the rest I'll see you tomorrow but two of you there's a special grace for you and I ask so God in the name of Jesus 
I ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that your strong hand might begin to descend. Show me the two brethren. Show me. Show me the two of them. Okay, the grace is coming stronger. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. Holy Ghost. 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 It's coming strong. Coming strong. Coming strong. Coming strong on your life. Let the hand of God upon you become irresistible. Let it be irresistible. Let the grace of God upon your life become irresistible. Something that the enemy cannot subdue. Like the force of a mighty river that Satan cannot stop. This night, from this night, from this night, I decree that upon formed against you shall be able to prosper. I decree that every tongue that rises against you in judgment is contempt, 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 contempt. In the name of Jesus. Go in this your might. Begin to possess your possessions. The things that you run away from will run from you. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> 